If all the ants on Earth were placed on a giant scale, their combined weight would likely equal or even exceed that of all 8 billion humans. This isn't just a curious fact. It highlights their vast ecological influence. This colossal mass of tiny bodies represents a significant force in the terrestrial world, constantly turning over soil and processing organic matter. It's a truly amazing thought. These small creatures, often unnoticed beneath our feet, form a widespread network that spans the entire globe. Their presence is ancient. They lived alongside the dinosaurs, and when a great cataclysm removed the large reptiles from the earth, the ants endured. For over 140 million years, they have been shaping our world. Just how numerous are they? Scientists estimate there are at least 20 quadrillion individual ants alive today. A 20, followed by 15 zeros. To put it another way, for every single person on this planet, there are roughly two and a half million ants, all living and working in a world parallel to our own. This immense population is a vibrant collection of over 15,000 known species, with thousands more likely awaiting discovery. Each has developed its own unique way of life and solutions for survival. They have adapted to nearly every terrestrial habitat on Earth, absent only from the permanent ice of the poles. From high mountain peaks to the deepest caves, they have found a way to thrive. An ant colony is more than just a group of insects. It's a unified system, a single cohesive entity made up of many individual bodies. A lone ant is vulnerable and has limited awareness. But as part of the colony, it becomes a part of a larger, coordinated whole. Its members act as specialized groups, workers, soldiers, and the queen, all working together to achieve feats of engineering and survival impossible for any single insect. So the next time you see a lone ant on the pavement, pause. Consider that you are not looking at a single creature. You are seeing a sensory outpost connected by an invisible network of chemical trails to a community just out of sight. This is a representative of a global presence, a scout searching for new territory, a forager on a vital supply run, or a soldier protecting the borders of its territory. Their story is one of complexity, resourcefulness, and wonder, a journey happening all around us every single day. Let's take a brief tour of this vast world, from the highest canopy in the humid jungles of Southeast Asia. Weaver ants perform incredible feats of living architecture. Chains of workers pull leaves together, while others use their own larvae as living silk spinners to stitch a fortress in the treetops. Travel to the Sahara and you'll meet the silver ant, an extremophile that forages on sand reaching 70 degrees Celsius. Its shimmering coat reflects the intense sun, and it navigates using polarized light from the sky. And even our own urban environments have been settled. The pharaoh ant treats our buildings as a man-made mountain range, using plumbing and electrical conduits as its pathways, building communities within our walls. At the heart of every ant colony resides the queen. Her life began as a winged princess, undertaking a perilous nuptial flight, mating high in the air. Once fertilized for life, she lands, sheds her wings, and establishes a new community alone. Sealing herself in a small chamber, she lays her first eggs, nourishing the larvae with energy from her own body. She is the solitary genetic source of a future presence. Her firstborn children are the workers, sterile females. The youngest act as nurses, tending the brood, grooming the queen, and keeping the nest clean. As workers age, they graduate to new tasks, nest maintenance, then guard duty. Finally, they become foragers and scouts, the most demanding role, venturing out to find food. This system ensures the most experienced ants take on the greatest risks. Some species develop soldiers with oversized heads and mandibles used to defend the colony. Some have heads that function as living door plugs, perfectly sealing tunnel entrances. The world of an ant is a world of scent. While they have eyes, their primary sense is chemical, a language read by their antennae. A forager returns to the nest, leaving an invisible trail of pheromones, a chemical map that directs her sisters to the food. The trail's strength can even signal the food's quality. This chemical vocabulary is vast. There are alarm pheromones that trigger immediate action, and a unique hydrocarbon password on each ant's body that serves as a colony recognition scent, 
instantly identifying members from others. This constant chemical communication keeps the colony coordinated. Ants also form remarkable cooperative relationships. Some species are pastoralists, practicing animal husbandry with aphids. They protect the aphids from predators and tend to them like livestock. In return, the ants milk them for honeydew, a sugary excretion. In extraordinary cases, ants will build shelters for their aphid herds, or even move their eggs into the nest to protect them through winter. Other species are dedicated farmers. Leafcutter ants carry freshly cut leaf pulp underground, not to eat, but to cultivate a specialized fungus that feeds the entire colony. It's a millions of years old symbiotic relationship where neither can survive alone. Ants are food for many predators, from the hidden traps of antlion larvae to the devastating raids of anteaters and pangolins that rip open nests for a feast. But the greatest threat to many ants is other ants. Territorial disputes can escalate into organized conflict. The most feared are the nomadic army ants. Largely blind, their swarms sweep the forest floor, a moving carpet of activity consuming anything in their path. Battles can be intense, mandibles lock, chemical tools are used, and conflict can continue for days. Some species developed extreme tactics, trap jaw strikes at astonishing speed, while others self-sacrifice by rupturing to spray sticky substances. Survival also demands collective ingenuity. When floods arrive, Fire ants link their bodies to form a living raft, its buoyancy created by their waxy outer layers trapping air. They place the queen and brood in the protected center, floating for weeks if necessary. They also form living bridges to cross gaps, demonstrating how the colony acts as a single, coordinated group. When waters recede, they rebuild. When land offers materials, they become builders. Next, the structures they create. Ant nests are climate-controlled cities, examples of impressive engineering. Tunnels are precisely angled to use natural convection, creating a constant flow of fresh air. Below the surface, the colony is meticulously organized. Some chambers are nurseries where humidity and temperature are kept within a very specific range. Others are food stores or refuse dumps, all carefully managed to prevent disease and keep the entire colony healthy. Above ground, the mounds of species like the European wood ant can be colossal. These structures are not random piles, they are giant solar collectors with steep southern faces designed to capture the sun's warmth and passively heat the vital brood chambers inside. Throughout the day, workers act as living thermostats, constantly opening and closing entrances to regulate temperature and humidity. By digging, ants constantly turn and aerate the soil in a process called bioturbation, allowing water and nutrients to reach plant roots. They are tiny cultivators. Their role as gardeners is even more intricate. Many plants develop deliosomes, nutritious rewards on their seeds. Ants carry these seeds home, feed the eleosome to larvae, and then discard the intact seed in their fertile waste chambers. Underground compost heaps, perfect for germination. Our relationship with ants is complex. At home, they can be pests. Carpenter ants can weaken timber, while invasive species form vast communities inviting sprays and traps. But in agriculture, they can be friend or foe. In the Americas, leafcutter ants can defoliate crops. Yet in Asia, weaver ants are prized allies, acting as valuable natural pest control in citrus orchards. Scientists study this collective behavior, known as swarm intelligence, to improve our own world. Ant colony optimization algorithms, inspired by pheromone trails, now solve complex routing problems for logistics and data networks. This decentralized decision-making is also applied to robotics, teaching groups of machines to cooperate. Their social systems provide endless fascination for sociologists and biologists alike. Ants are cleaners, cultivators and predators, removing debris, spreading seeds, and providing food for countless species. As prey, they are a fundamental food source that supports entire food webs. As predators and scavengers, they keep ecosystems in balance. It is easy to overlook the ant, but their unseen collective labor supports healthy soils and thriving ecosystems. Next time you step outside, look down. You are sharing your world with a global presence of tiny creatures whose combined mass is thought to rival that of all humanity. Their remarkable success is built on cooperation, communication, 
and purpose. They challenge our human-centric notions of society. The world of the ants is not a separate world. It is woven into our own, and it is full of wonder.